Hello and welcome back to Mass Effect Andromeda. If you're still loaded into the mad. They are bullies, but this situation is now your fault. Don't get kicked out, Moran, not because of them. But you're telling me to be weak. No, I am telling you to be strong through your cunning and heart. Okay? Hey. really is the best one in the resistance. I know. Our experience with the Ket makes us naturally distrustful of all aliens. We've had our own run-ins with the Ket. Then you really do understand. When the Archon came to Helios, he demolished our sovereign state took what he wanted, as if we were nothing. Now, the Ket mercilessly abduct Angara. Often, we never see our people again. Come this way. Ephra is waiting. Wait, the Ket kidnap you? Steal your people? And the Resistance fights them every day. With everything we can. Is it attrition? What are they after? You should save your questions for Ephra. Kadara be damned. I won't lose fold. Ephra, this is one of the aliens from the Milky Way. A Pathfinder. Pathfinder. It's an aggressive move coming to Aya. It wasn't meant that way. I have an arc full of desperate people counting on me to find them a home before they starve. Of course, I feel for you and your people. So, Pathfinder, never mind how you even found us. Why are you here? On a hostile planet we call Eos, I explored an ancient structure, a vault, and brought it back online. It stabilized that planet's environment. Remnant, recent intelligence supports that claim. If I'm right, there's a vault on Aya that's different. I need to look inside. You're right. There's a vault out there, but it was shut years ago and the entrance hidden. We can't help you. The Moshai could. She's our most revered scientist and elder. She knows this vault. But now the Ket have her, and our rescue attempts failed. She's lost to us, and you. Let me show you what I can do. I won't take one step without your approval. You have no idea what you're dealing with. The Angara learned years ago the perils of messing with vaults. So did the Ket, for that matter. We're done here. Ephra. I feel... Ephra, what this alien says is extraordinary. The Moshai would want us to be brave and not let this chance pass. Joel, you talk too much. Let me assess this alien. I'll be your eyes. I know you can spare me. Go if you want. But when he tries to kill you, be prepared to strike first. I'm Jal Amadarav. I'll be your envoy through Angaran space. Thank you for trusting me. I don't. But... I can always kill you in your sleep. Good to know. That is a friendly maneuver, isn't it? I've organized my analysis of Aya. Shall I relay it to the Nexus? Definitely. Enjoy the docks. For now, that's all you have access to. Thank you. Hello? Trade? Trade. Trade. Are you asking or telling? I'm wondering. Do you exchange goods and services? How does your economy work? We pay for things with a currency called credits. Abstract wealth. The cat offered gifts. Made odd bargains. Never traded. What are your credits worth? What can we do with them? You pay them to us for whatever we're selling. Now we cut open the heart. What do you 
you offer? I don't know. What do you want? Your ship. Not for sale. Worth a try. Is there something else I can do for you? Yes. Call me Soka. I run cargo between Aya and other worlds. Good work. Good at it. You're here to help my people. Prove it. I need help. One of my suppliers off-world stopped checking in. Has things I need. There could be trouble. What makes you think I can help? You found Aya, maybe you find my supplier. Can't hurt to ask. You're one of few people here willing to give me a chance. I'll take it. You have a ship? I have my supplier's nav point. His name is Kelvo. Find him, his supplies. Come back and prove you're helpful. Then maybe we trade. Yeah, sounds fair. Where is the tempest anyway? Hi. This is as far as you go. Very well. Uh, I'm still confused about uh, li linguistics. The Geth have felt the power of the resistance and they know their end is coming. Our victory on Vold are only the beginning of what we can achieve, but we can't defeat the enemy without your help. If you're tired of living in fear, if you believe you were meant for something greater than slavery, if you're willing to stand up and fight, you'll find a new family in the resistance. We journey to strike back at the Geth and reclaim what is ours. Your resistance defends the future of all Angara. Join us. I'm scared. I'm not here to scare you. Hey, how do you like my ship? Ooh, I can scan something. I'm allowed to scan now. Pardon me while I scan everything in visual range. I was hoping to get a chance to speak with you. You left your home to cross dark space. Is it true you can never go back? Yeah. This is home now. To take such a risk and give up your old life. Why did you do it? For the chance to meet someone like you. Looks like it already paid off. Are all humans as quick with words? You'll have to find out. I suppose I will. My turn for a question. Do I get to know your name? Oh, of course. I'm Avela Kajawa, curator for the Repository of History. We study relics of our past, try to piece together what we lost in the Scourge. And the truth is, there was something I wanted to talk to you about. Pathfinder, how much do you know about our history? I still have a lot to learn. Centuries ago, the Scourge targeted my people. Our ships were the first to go dark. Many of those ships went down over Havaral. The wilds of that planet are filled with history. A scientist on Havaral just contacted me with a new nav point of an intact crash site. A huge opportunity. But with Remnant patrolling the area, we can't get close enough. Not like you can. How do you know about me and the Remnant? I have friends in the Resistance. They heard your conversation with Ephra. I know it's a lot to ask, but you have a ship and the means to get past the Remnant. Without your help, I'm stuck. I don't think Ephra would be too happy with this arrangement. Ephra doesn't have to know, and if he finds out, he can direct his anger at me. It takes guts to stand up to him. I'd face worse to get a piece of our history back. You're trusting your history with an outsider? I know what people say about you, but I don't agree. I think you're here to help. I am. Now's your chance to prove it. You want to earn Aya's respect, right? 
Recovering our past will go a long way. I've always wanted to give archaeology a try. Oh, I was hoping you'd say that. If you find anything, I'll be here. Thank you, Pathfinder. Cool. So, this is the path to our ship. So I can take a look around this side as well. Anything more to scan? No, apparently not. All I could scan for was the ship. Hello. I am Enro Bosan, assistant to Governor Paranshai. You're free to explore this area, but the city is off limits. Until that changes, I'll be your liaison. How may I help you, Pathfinder? You don't just stand here waiting to answer my questions, right? I assist the Governor in all matters. While you're here, this is my priority. Pretty far outside your normal job, huh? I did not begin this day expecting to speak with it. You? <laughs> nice save. Yeah, it's been a long day. Sounded like you and Jal know each other. Our families are related. You sound nothing alike. We have multiple worlds. Our culture is complex. I'd like to know more. Earn our trust and maybe you will. When am I allowed to visit the city again? That's not for me to decide. Who will? Your boss? Or Ephra? Governor Shai has jurisdiction over Aya. She will authorize your entrance if you earn Ephra's trust. You spoke with Soko and Avela. Help them, and you may help yourself. The Ket swayed us with words. Now we judge outsiders by their actions. What can you tell me about your other worlds? Life on them is hard. The people harder. Every day is a struggle to survive. Why not bring everyone here? We will not abandon any more worlds to the Ket. And Aya cannot support all of us. Fair enough. Thanks for your time, Enro. Of course. Ryder, ship's fixed up and ready to fly. Your ship is... <laughs> we have... Nothing like it. Where do you see the inside? <laughs> it gets better. Oh, yeah. You ready to go? I'll introduce you to the rest of my crew. I'm just saying, as far as first contact goes, at least that went better than the last one. Only slightly. Yeah, what happened? I wanted to look around. And now we have another mouth to feed, whatever he eats. Did the translators not work? They work. Come on, everyone, can we just all please try to... Just listen up. Begging. Interesting strategy. Ryder, we followed our best lead here, and now we don't even have that. Jal has offered to do what he can to help us access the Vault on Aya. How do we do that when we're leaving the planet it's on? That's... a fair point. Jal? Seriously? Settle down. Ryder's right. There's Nangara right here. Let's hear from the new guy. One day, about 80 years ago, the Archon and the Ket arrived in Helios, and the horror began. They declared war? Nothing so easy to define or fight. The Ket kidnap Angara. Their people disappear without a trace. What if they were us? Sure, I'll fight Ket all day long, but that's no plan. I agree. We need to get into that vault, Rider. Surprisingly, I'm with PB. Our own mission has to take priority. We have a plan. Kind of. 
pretty solid. Jal? The resistance is stretched thin. I was tasked with traveling to two of our worlds at our briefing this morning. And you'll accompany me. Because? Because then, Ephra will see you as trustworthy. You want that. Jaws told me about these two worlds, Havarl and Vol. Before the Scourge disaster, Vold was a thriving planet of billions, a shining center of technology and life. And now? It's the center of our ground war against the Ket. Our resistance base is fighting Ket command for control of the planet. What about the other? Aval is the birthplace of the Angara. It's started to degrade, to become wild and dangerous. We suspect Remnant. Now we're talking. We've recently lost contact with our scientists. Still don't get how any of this helps us. I do. Help us, or rather help me, and I'll vouch for you, right? Because Jal wants inside Aya's vault, too. Pathfinder, it's your call. Don't know yet. Just be ready to go at a moment's notice. Got it? You bet. Jal, give Callow the nav points for both planets. Let's do this. Okay, so apparently we are no longer recruiting any more aliens. Hello? How'd you resist all that tasty fruit on Aya, huh? It looks wise. And those are two using paws. Are you sure it's not more intelligent than us? Still compiling my first impressions. But even their body language is so... emotional. I can't wait for my first session with Jarl. Why not scare him away, huh? Okay, I think these are still on a timer, probably. Yeah. What's this spy cell kiosk? That's interesting. That's an ultra rare shotgun. That sounds like good fun. Anyway, Lexi, how are you doing? Need something? No. I'll let you get back to it. I was I'll be here if you need me. Curious if you had already had a chance to talk to John. Probably not. So, Jal. So? We haven't had a chance to talk alone. You comfortable in here? I took it. It feels strange to stay with the others. They are... you are... aliens. And you're alien to us. So there. We have something in common. Uh, we can look at it as a place to start. Got it. Perhaps then, if we're all aliens, it's about what kind of alien we are. You had no idea about us, but you signed up to help us anyway. Perhaps it had nothing to do with you. Care to elaborate? I do not. How do you know Moshe Sefa? She's our greatest mind on the Remnant. I was his student. You studied the Remnant too? <laughs> A little. I was terrible. I quit. Or she threw me out. One of those. We're still very close. So, is that your rifle? It is now. It's Ket. With my own modifications. I like to tinker, to get my hands on something and take it apart. That's a skill I know we can use. But I have one request. Please don't take apart my ship. <laughs> You're right. I signed up. Uh, volunteered for this. It's... Uh, 
exciting. There's something unique about you. Uneasy, cruel, but somehow profound. Face value, that sounds like a compliment. A nice one. It is. Angara feel deeply. We have <laughs> more trouble hiding our emotions than showing them. I should get back to my work. As if I didn't have enough on my plate, add deciphering alien psychology. What plate? Exactly. See you later. Nifty. Okay, so I'm gonna chase down my entire crew again because they might have new things to say. Let me see if I can, if I find. Them. Some doors are closed, which is interesting. I did not like the look of that Archon. Maybe the Angara will let me pitch a tent on Aya for the duration. Didn't think you were the type to run from trouble. Well, when you put it that way... <sighs> All right. Next time, keep him on the line. I might have something to say. Thanks for chatting. We'll talk again later. You know it. All right. Ah, there you are. Gotcha. Do I need to get Lexi to do a psych review? <laughs> that is true. Maybe. People have been telling me I'm crazy my whole life. Just dealing with some scourge issues. That Archon fella tried to warn you not to joyride into it, but you were just la la la. It was an act first, think later move. I respect it. Well, more like I resemble it. Hey, you play poker? Come again? Poker. Card game, bluffing, betting. It's an age-old measuring stick of a person's character, fortitude, guts. Used to think maybe it was my calling. Turns out I'm just good at it. Never lost, heads up. We should play sometime. Willing to put your streak on the line? Huh. <laughs> I'll risk it. Next time we port up and you're in the mood, I'm always in the mood. I'm just uh, gonna not try and translate it differently. Okay, the uh, Vetra is not in her quarters. Cora is over here. That Archon. Arrogant son of a bitch. Maybe that's redundant for a cat. He's also the first cat who bothered to talk to us. That's useful intel. True, they can communicate. They just prefer to open fire. Let's just get so, rid of them. What else is new? Nothing, I guess. See you later, Cora. I'll be here. You will. You have nowhere to hide. Well, well, actually, there might be places to hide, but it'll probably still be on the ship. Right. No one in the med bay. Your take on the Angara, old man. Strong, honorable survivors. Been a while since I encountered a new friendly species. Last time was the humans. Oh yeah. You lived through first contact with them, didn't you? If I recall, my exact words were they're bold for being so squishy. Do they know they're mostly water? Harsh. Don't let Ryder hear you. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> that's fair. Notes from the last fire drill. In Liam's new evacuation plan, but 22 seconds off our best time. We need a solution for our vis a vis ladders. PB, you are dead because you were two minutes late to the evac point. I live in a skate park. <laughs> No need to panic about the drive core noise this morning, just a stress test. There's nothing wrong with a 5 o'clock wake up call. Profanity deleted painful about VI, you're welcome. I checked the verbing noun skill. Liam, if the VI learns to censor all language, I'm making you re reprogram it. Educational, in a way. Oh, hey, you're both here. Hey, kid. 
Talk to you later. We can talk more later. Sure. I am mostly water. Squish, squish. Sploosh. Explosion of blood and limbs. Need something? Need something done? Okay, I'll leave probably have work to do. We can chat later. You know where to find me. I was hoping you would also have something to tell me about this whole situation, but apparently you are not in the mood. And that's fine. Those things here? Not really happening. Uh, do I have any new email? Thanks for that remnant storage box from the ES want. Only need this one particular piece of remnant tech to complete my project. My scanner located what I need on world. Cool, I keep that in mind. Pathfinder Rider, a manifest of items that I have brought aboard your ship, the Tempest. Blankets and beddings in the event your unfamiliar alien bedding is insufficient, insufficient or uncomfortable. Small number of personal projects, these are bits and pieces of inherent tech and weaponry. 25 jugs, jugs of nourishment paste, this will need to be replenished regularly. Armor, including my two rough chin, unknown alternative cape suspenders, and equipment to repair them. Deals of salves, screams and perfumes I can provide your science officer with a list of ingredients if that is required. I've also been brought my personal weapon, a get rifle. I've been issued an omni tool which I'm currently calibrating. I hope that this list isn't planned. Yeah. Come by me when you get a minute. I've got an idea I want to run by you. Might help everyone deal with the craziness around here. I'll keep that in mind. Though I have no idea where he is currently hiding. I don't think he was in his room, was he? It's entirely possible, I didn't check it. No, he's not here. The couch is completely empty. Alright. I hear you, Liam. Liam, where are you going? Liam! Stop and talk to me. You had an what idea. Hell of a trip this is turning out to be. Hostiles, ruined worlds, no home in sight. Everyone's getting toasty. There was a two hour argument yesterday and no one even knew how it started. That's not good. Luckily, I have the perfect way for people to unwind. Movie night. Taking a breather for a good movie? I could get behind that. Best part is, it doesn't need to be good. Still get mileage out of the bad ones. It's worth it to jumpstart everyone's pioneer spirit and all that. The Tempest database is pretty dry. Could you download a movie library from Nexus Ops to see what I've got to work with? If I have time. Thanks. Everyone will appreciate it. Okay, that might help. Anything else you have to tell me? Pathfinder. Hey, I was wondering, could you put your stamp on a project? It's for me and Jarl to work on. Call it diplomacy if you have to put it in a budget bucket. Greenlight that research and it's all good. What's your read on the people we're working with? The squad and crew? They're all fine. You must have opinions. Your opinion's more important. What do you think of your people? Everyone has the training, but this job is all new every day. That's probably what the Nexus is counting on that our skills fit together to make it work. Up to us to figure it out. That's why this is our ship. So we own it, want to make it work. We'll talk later. I know it. Okay, how do I fund this research you wanted me to fund? That's the AP status. Research center. What would it be even under? It probably wouldn't be part of Heliots, now would it? What is it on development? Special items, Liam's armor requisition. Uh, I need aluminium for this. 
I don't have aluminium for this. Uh, I'm still missing beryllium for all of these, right? Right, and they need a lot of beryllium. And copper and platinum. Out of curiosity, uh, does the kiosk sell any aluminium for me? It looks like a big no. Okay. That's fine. That's fine. I think I checked on everyone now, right? I certainly checked on Jal. Anyone hiding here? No. So let's go back to the deck. And I can try talking to him for you. That's kind, Subi. But I don't think it will help. Help what? How are you doing, Keller? Sam's Hello. been compiling our star charts. The other pilots on the Nexus will have plenty of new trails to follow. You can drop the charts off the next time we're there. Funny. A few months ago, that station was like a war zone. Flying was my only way to escape the chaos. Now it's become a haven, just as it was meant to be. Every good space station needs a big lake. Maybe some fountains. Indeed. Even non-amphibians need a little water. Regardless, the worst threat to the whole initiative is still that monstrosity. You mean the Scourge? I still see it crippling the Nexus in my memories. I had to train other pilots in hazardous flight techniques just to look for food and water. It's a cage that eats good ships and good people. Helios won't be home so long as it's a threat. It's a huge space anomaly. It's not going away in anyone's lifetime. If we could somehow neutralize it, or if our ships had defenses against it. Still, that's what we do, isn't it? Find a way where there is none. Just see the Nexus for proof of that. You're yeah, right, Kello. Kello. Gil, O'Connell and Serena spent months getting our systems coordinated. You can't just strip and redesign those connections on the fly. Gil? I know you can hear me. The whole ship can hear you. I'm just not listening. You're fighting again? I'm thinking the same, believe me. What can I do for you? Eh, not much. What do you think of the rest of the crew? Jal has all sorts of questions about the ship. I gave him some technical manuals. He tore right through them. I should ask him about Angaran ships. Imagine something actually designed to handle that damn scourge. What do you think of the rest of the crew? No. Oh. <laughs> If I gossip any more, I'll get in trouble. I'll let you concentrate. You know where I'll be. Thank you for the input on show. Subi, how are you doing? I saw pictures of the vault. Astounding how big it is. And how much of it didn't you see? What if it's way bigger? What's all that space for? Wild remnant parties. What else would you use it for? Well, that's a thought. You don't really think they... <laughs> oh. Joking, I see. <laughs> Good one. <laughs> I take you work closely with the next science team? I try to keep in contact with them. We discuss anything and everything we discover out here. After all, many brains are better than one, and Dr. Aridana is worth two or three at least. I work best when I have other people to bounce ideas off of. I'm still fuzzy about how we managed to see Andromeda all the way from home. It confused me too. I mean, the light lag would have made any data two million years out of date. So I asked Dr. Aridana, and she told me, well, it wasn't her tech that did it. It was the Geths. You're kidding. Those killer robots we had in the Milky Way? Those exact ones. The initiative obtained data from an array in deep space. A Geth construct. According to Aridana, the Geth rebuilt a mass relay and turned the approach corridor into an FTL sensor. A what now? It operated like a telescope, just faster than light. It provided much more up-to-date info. We don't know why the Geth were interested in observing beyond the galaxy, though. Maybe we'll never know. Did my dad know about this? Why didn't he tell me? It's possible he didn't know. The Geth are isolationist and hostile. Using the info, even obtaining it in the first place, probably crossed a lot of boundaries. What do you know about the Remnant's terraforming network? From what I can tell, the vault is designed to adjust almost everything about a planet. Climate, pH of the soil, atmosphere composition. There's even evidence that it can propagate life. 
If we can figure out how to control the vaults, we could turn these worlds into perfect habitats. What do you know about the Scourge? We established that it's artificial. Someone put it there. Or they did something that caused its creation. We don't know why. That's still a mystery. When did you start believing in a god? My parents were both scientists. My home was ruled by rationality. So when I became a teenager, let's just say that while other kids found Batarian music, I found God. But your work as a scientist... Convinced me even more. Especially when I got into molecular biology, physics. The patterns I kept seeing over and over again. They were like an artist's watermarks. God, to me, is an artist. An inventor. Not someone checking to see if I brush my teeth. I should get back to things. Sounds good. Okay, so next time we will go to a planet. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. And hopefully we will not run into more uh, giant cat things. Yeah, bye bye.